today we are going to talk about how you can use rising trot in passage. It's super, super interesting for me to look back on these videos because they were recorded a little while ago and I am so embarrassed by what I see. I'm so sad for the Tash that thought she understood something, understood she could ride, understood that she thought her way of doing it was going to in any way work. Because you're always doing the best you can with what you know. And I was doing my absolute best in the riding. And it's only with hindsight, it's only with more knowledge, it's only with more awareness, it's only with more understanding that you can look back and go, oh, that was wrong. You know, kind of like when you look back in the 80s and you look at your clothing choices and you go, hmm, that was wrong. Maybe it was just me. So I want to put this video out for you guys, for you to see it. Firstly, to see that Wherever you are, you will always, that is, that is the best you've ever been and it's also the worst you'll ever be. So when I look at this video, I go, wow, I am better than that video now. But that was also the best I had ever ridden up until that point. So I want you to guys take that learning. And then what's the point of the actual video? It's um, how do you use a rising trot to, to train your passage and how important it is to use your body to influence the horse's body. Whether or not you're asking it to do a transition or asking it to do a 20 meter circle, or you're doing the cool fun Grand Prix tricks at the top end of the scale, it's the same. I struggle with using my body to influence the, whole, the horse's body at any level. I just don't have that nuance, um, or I, I am working on developing more nuance. So please don't do what I did, please. Take these lessons when you see them and apply them to your writing now, because the earlier you can apply them to your writing, the better your writing is going to be. So let's check out the video. Get as tall as you can and keep him even and make your rise bigger and slower. No, no, bigger and slower. No, 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 still in the rhythm. Okay, so I right, go normal again. So you think I'm asking you to do something, don't think anything, right? Right Ben, turn a circle. That's it, good, good. Keep that right bend. Good girl, now slow your rise down in rhythm. This is better, good girl, this is better. Good girl, now think shoulders to the ceiling as you do it. Kick once with two legs. Get off your legs, Put it, get, make them straight. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, up, oh, kick. That's because your legs are on. Kick once and then let go. Don't get the pressure off. Straight knees, good. Yeah, do it again, kick once. Just kick hard once, that's it. Yeah, let go of your front. Make him straight. Now rise bigger. Get your legs forward. Get your legs forward. Yes, there, there, there. Then just rise bigger. Like, yeah, rise quicker. You gotta rise quicker than him. Quicker. You're in his rhythm. Get out of his oh, rhythm. Quicker, sorry. Get out of it. There you go. Okay, then do it again. Rise slower. Get your legs forward. Outside bend. You can kick once hard. Let go, let go of the front. Yeah. Slower again. Get your legs forward. Kick once, leg straight. There, there, there. Yep, play. Legs, give your face, give your hands. There, legs forward. Legs forward. Ah, you go. Ah, you go. Legs forward. Legs forward. Kick once. No, it's true. I told you not to drive. He'll kill you. Ah, you go. Legs forward. Don't let on the back of the saddle. Stay in front of the saddle. Get, let go of the front. Let go. Let go. Right bend. Let go. Yeah. Come on, don't you're landing in the back of the saddle. That's your problem, it's nothing to do with him. He's doing everything you're asking. Better, let go of the front. Better, yeah, but let go, you're there, there, better. Better, now do, yeah, that's better. Play with that, more. Little bit leg, but gentle. Not back with your legs, back is the ass. Yes, and then dump your reins. Gonna pat. Good, and let him go. You can just walk, just turn a circle, turn a circle to make him walk. Don't put the handbrake on. Yeah, but keep rising, you're hovering. All rise, rise slower. There, you feel that? Otherwise, all handbrake. All right, so talk to me. That was good. It's, I, I do know that nuance of uprightness and keeping both sides 
while you might ask for bend to one side or bend to the other side doesn't mean let go and yeah so it's good so let's get a bit deeper right so tell me where because obviously you didn't nail it right you're not like leaving you're leaving going oh that was awesome that was better than normal but there's still issues right so dig deep and tell me where you got confused so with what about the, the passage rising you yeah, had a so moment here where you kicked him real hard what happened there no so i wouldn't say like i am ecstatic i did my body isn't strong enough like that kick was there you go you know That's doing it yeah yeah so I, I know i can't improve that in a day and no but it's it, there's not about that it's just about you got to be deeper you got to really talk about it so there we got into it so where did you find you had problems with your body was it only at the passage or was it before that let him turn no. him, feel the walk feel the walk let him go to, him to me it was in the passage um let him go because i i liked you know let I, him ten, go. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I have right. 10 i have 10 years of legs back and passage to retrain yeah so yeah that was just a loss of balance and turn a loss a of yeah so it was just the passage well i know it's there the everywhere but the passage really showed it you know, okay. like when I was doing it with Flo, standing up in the saddle for three strides, I didn't feel half as close to falling off. Not that as I was then. close to falling no, off. No, 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 I understand. No, that's good though. So, but this is the discussion you've got to get a bit deeper on because then you said something that was crucial that's the misunderstanding. You said, I've got 10 years of legs back in passage and that's why you struggled? Yeah? No, sorry. There was times where I physically probably, like it was P passage means this and there were other times where I went oh I know I need to go forward but I don't want to because I'm going to fall off cool so but you see that so turn him again so you see but the deeper conversation to have about it so yep. when you finish your ride you really need to analyze it like that because otherwise you got to you don't get to pick things to work on next time etc etc and you know how you say to me, your biggest worry is when I'm not here, you'll struggle. Yeah. That's what will happen. If you just fluff over it and go, that was bad or that was good, you don't ever pick up bits to fix. So here we're like, okay, cool. So biggest things I've got to work on or be more aware of is that the passage comes from a natural position. Yeah, that it comes from the training scale and I've got to do my Pilates. So have you started exercising? No. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if you haven't and it doesn't matter about life as well like I know as well as everybody stuff happens but look in your diary and go when am I going to be free when can I possibly get that in write it in so I trust you enjoyed that video there's so much to unpack there and also when you think about the end where Alicia really challenges me to go deep it's not just how was your ride it was a good ride or a bad ride what were the good bits why specifically were they good? How do you replicate more good bits? And what about the bad bits? Why were they bad? It's so easy to go, they were bad. And why? Because I'm a shit rider. Would always be my answer. <laughs> so it's either the ride went bad because the horse is shit. I tend not to blame the horse, it just must be me. I rode shit, the horse went shit. That doesn't help. How do you fix that? What, just become a better rider. Well, how would you do that? You need more detail and Alicia's very good at getting more detail so we can actually solve a specific problem. So if the ride has bad bits in it, why are they bad? And if it's because you think you're a bad rider, that would be me because I'm a bad rider. Well, what specifically about your riding is so bad that caused that issue? And I'd be like, oh, well, it's my seat. I don't have enough balance. Great. Now we, can, we might be able to solve that. How do we solve that specific problem rather than I'm a shit rider? Our brains can only solve problems that are very cleverly, articulately explained. They can't solve big problems. So I challenge you and your writing to dig deep on what is the specific problem and then figure out how to solve it. I trust you enjoyed this episode. Remember, if you loved it, hit the like button and hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you want more help implementing the training scale, implementing dressage, understanding the minefield that is dressage, go check out the Dressage Institute. The link is in the show comments. I'll see you guys next time.